What's going on, Holly Wire? I'm Dom Dollar. Have a ripper weekend. I'll see you soon. Holly Wire, what is going on? We got Dom Dollar here, dude. What's up? How you doing, man? You just killed it at Coachella. Thank you very much. That was uh, that was definitely a little bit crazier than last week. I think they, they really brought the energy, which was which was really exciting for me. I wasn't sure what to expect, but yeah, really, really stoked. Okay, let's do some rapid fire festival questions oh, here. Shit. Oh right. shit, here we go. What's the funniest thing you've ever heard at a festival? I'm gonna shit my pants. Wow, who said that one? Some girl that was pushing through the crowd. I've never seen anyone separate a group of people separate quicker in my life. If you want to, if you want to get out of a crowd quickly or through a crowd quickly, all you got to do is swallow up your pride and scream. You're gonna vomit or uh, shit, I suppose, and everyone will just, you know, try to get out of your way. So it's actually kind of genius. So props to her. Okay. Uh, what is like the biggest mistake or biggest mishap you've ever had at a festival? Oh. Uh, it wasn't my fault once I had all of the stage production, all of the, the music, all the lights and all the stage production turn off at the same time. Um, someone backstage kicked off the power thing. Uh, oh, was it, it was actually Tomorrowland in Belgium. That was me. That was I want to let you know, that was me. I was there accidentally trying to get backstage and I did that, I'm so sorry. But I myself, I've accidentally stopped the music before, before but it stopped for like two seconds and I was able to turn it back on again. Stopping the music, that's the biggest faux pas, really. That's as, that's as bad as it gets. Okay, so uh, you posted on Instagram, like you're like, already, cancel, cancel. Kanye West, you did something, uh, no, what's no, all no. about? We got a, maybe an angry email or two about this little remix I did of Kanye last week. That, I, I just heard it though, it was awesome. Yeah, well, thank you. It was thank really you. good. Yeah, no, I, uh, I don't know, I was just a bit disappointed that he pulled out, so I went and grabbed a tune, I Love Kanye, of one of his old albums, and I did a little bit of an edit to it. The crowd seemed to really enjoy it, but it's a throwback to what Kanye used to be. It, that's how you do it. You could just find something on the internet, find something and just a, a theme going on. You could just make a remix like that. I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's about getting permission to release it, which I doubt will happen. Oh, oh, is that what the email was all about? Uh, I don't know exactly what the, the framing. <laughs> My manager was like, ah, just play it again this week. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I hear a uh, accent. Yeah, I'm from Australia. Oh, love Australia. I'm Australian, yeah. Yeah, yes. long way away. It takes uh, 15 hours to fly here by plane. So it's not exactly a walk in the park, but we do it. We do it because we love it. And uh, why not Coachella? Have to make it happen. Okay, you said this was like a dream of yours I saw on Instagram to perform at Coachella. It is. It's like, what is it? The pinnacle of uh, pop culture and music, right? Yes. It's a big, it's a massive nod from... Uh, from the powers that be, if you get a, if you get booked here, so I'm just really grateful to be here. It's my uh, my first time performing, my third time or fourth time attending. So, thank you guys, appreciate it. Thanks for having me. San Francisco, where is your disco? Is, is it your disco or my disco? Yeah, uh, it's your disco. Okay, so where is the disco in, in San Francisco? Uh, I'm still looking. I found it a few times, but I've woken up the next day and lost it again. So, let's talk about your drip, your Coachella attire. What's going on with this? <laughs> I actually bought this at a truck stop on the way here on Route 66. Um, I'd have no idea what it was. I just thought it looked kind of cool. Um, it looks like a knockoff of an old Jim Beam bottle. This is a friend of mine's brand back home in Australia called Raw 90. Makes awesome like silverware. Uh, this, I have no idea. I think I stole that from my friend at an after party. Um, I wear blank stuff. I love wearing lots of like blank clothes because I can only fit like eight t-shirts and like two pairs of pants in my carry-on luggage. So. Outside of that, I'm, I'm a bit of a plain Jane. Um, I, am, I am so bad with shaving. Like, it's awful. Like, <laughs> how do you do this? Like, you literally, you, you probably you shave today, yes or no? I shave today, yeah. yeah. I think if I'm if it's stage day, you got to shave. So I probably have to shave every two days, I reckon, at the moment while touring's pretty hectic. But never shave in this. Never shave in Cata that. Caterpillar. How long have you had that? Like, how long have you had that for? Caterpillar stays. I've had this probably like four years. Four years. I've had a beard since I was like 17, and I just got rid of that a few years later, so. I'm 30 now with a mo, looking like a, a trucker. With this Route 66, even more so. I really look like a really look like a trucker. But yeah, I uh, I don't think you'll see me shave the mo anytime soon. Sometime. Okay, and okay, so you're back here backstage, Coachella. Any artists that you've seen backstage? Do you do you fanboy over anybody? Oh, or? I just met Seal. Oh, I saw that. He's saw that. he's a fucking legend. He's actually like the nicest guy ever as well, which is phenomenal. I was like. There's nothing more disappointing than when you meet a, a, a fan, oh sorry, you meet an artist you're a fan of and they turn out to be a dick. He had all the time in the world for me. He had no idea who I was and I introduced myself and he was like, ah! Oh! And he actually, I ended up seeing him towards the side of the stage grooving out to my set because it was backstage that I met him, backstage of the Sahara. So yeah, I was very, 
Thank you, Seal, for being a bloody good guy. Dude, your songs, they, they slap. The word is slap that the Gen Z kids are using. They really do. Like, we, my wife and I love your songs. Thank literally, you. Literally, she was on my shoulders on your uh, during your performance. Like, literally, we're fans. I love that. We you guys are fans. legends. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Big time.